What's going on fellas? In this video we're going to see how I was able to roll this large drum because I didn't want to spend money on a beer keg without a roller. It was uh, fairly easy to do and I uh, just thought I'd show you guys how I did it because I got to do a couple more of them. And even a very large drum can be rolled using this method. So let's check this out. Alright, step one. We're going to throw the straps on the ground here. Kick them around a little bit. Throw it on top of the straps. We're going to hook these ratchet straps up and we're going to kind of stand here and roll around for a while, I guess. Then we're going to take a pre-cut disc that we cut on the plasma table and we're going to start tacking little tack welds all the way around this thing as we work it around. When we get halfway through, we're going to flip it over and start that process on the top side. So here's another little pre-cut disc we got. Pretty much just start tacking that in place and just work your way around that thing and eventually uh, you'll get to a point where you can fold the top over like this. And the turnbuckle placement is very important on this part. You gotta make sure those turnbuckles are right where I have them or else it just doesn't work good at all and it cuts the straps up. Okay, we've reached the, reached the point of the process now where I can only go about a half inch at a time. I run a little half inch bead, and then I pound it tight with a hammer, and you can see that gives us this right here. Not a perfect round shape, but very close and very cheap, as opposed to the alternative, 400 bucks. All right, so the key to getting the end of this wrapped up is the placement of the turnbuckles. Having that turnbuckle placed right there, definitely helping me crush this down. So I'm slowly getting this thing worked over. It's not going to be perfect, but for someone who doesn't have a coil roller that costs $25,000, this is going to be perfect for the prototype. Just a quick little tip, fellas. These diamond blades suck for cutting metal, right? We all know that. We've all tried it. But they're absolutely amazing for cutting welds. If you've ever got a tack weld that you need to bust loose, they cut through the weld metal like butter in my opinion. It's a um, little bit quicker than the actual disc maybe. And you're not just grinding disc away and spraying powder all over. It's not quite as violent as um, cutting the metal. I don't recommend cutting metal with these. It works, don't get me wrong. It's just that I would rather use a plasma cutter. But as far as nipping little tack welds that you need moved, these are awesome for that. Hey, no wonder I can't ever get any sleep. So here we are, moving along, getting this thing done. And uh, people ask me a lot how I spin the coils for my steam guns and stuff like that. And basically what I do is I build a jib like this um, with a, a sheet metal roller that I have. And I make the diameters that I want by rolling them and welding them together. And then I put the disc that I cut out of the plasma or out with the plasma torch. And I put the disc in the end of the um, sheet roll. And I just roll the coils as you see here. So you can make any size you want simply by cutting out the parts on the plasma table to make this jib that you see here. And it's a pretty quick process. Probably took me about half hour to make the jib. And after that you can uh, pretty much start just jamming out coils like it ain't no thing. And you can um, do any size coil like this. Double helixes, all kinds of stuff. Pretty nice little yeah. system. Not a perfect circle. This is really thin walled tubing. Um, I regret not paying closer attention to that spec. I should have got the .49. Quick little walk around before I bury this thing. No one near done yet. Yeah. 
Okay, so somebody's got to test this thing. Um, this is what you call tuning. It is not supposed to do that. But uh, hey, what do you do, right? <laughs> we get it figured out. I'm just trying to get this thing fired up and figure out how to use it and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're set at 19. We are boiling all the water. So what does 40 gallons an hour being boiled look like? It's a pretty big steam cloud. We're boiling off quite a bit of effluent here getting rid of a lot of waste just boiling it into steam and burning up any of the fibrous material that's in there so these are just some quick tests I had to do here's another look at the machine I don't have a lot of photos of it with it all put together this is another clip of it with the uh, the preheat system hooked up to the burners there and uh, this thing's just a big experiment as far as its actual purpose I can't really reveal that 100%. It needs a draft fan, is what my experiments have shown. And uh, I'm going to bed, man. This day and a half just won't end. It's like I'm running into the next day here, so I'm out of here.